to stop in, see if maybe they got anything new. I'm still on the hunt for that Chase Greg Valentine, and I don't think anybody else really cares about it, so it'd be cool to find that. But other than that, let's see what they got. All right, so we're heading to the uh, wrestling section. Now, one thing I always do is anytime I see a U-boat with boxes, I, all, I always like stop and look, but I noticed that these were all target boxes, which means just random stuff, so I just kept on walking. Now, they had some True Move stuff. They had the Legends Series 7, but it was uh, all Bobby Heenan's. They had like eight or nine Bobby Heenan's, sadly enough. Um, sorry about the camera angle. They had a Braun Strowman top picks, AJ Styles, a bunch of Cena basics some true moves but they had this kofi which is like the messed up gear i thought it was interesting first time seeing that they had the slambulance a couple belts really nothing nothing worth looking at i even tried seeing if there was anything under the shelf but they wouldn't come up so i figured we'd head over to the pops as usual and uh i don't know my eyes were just drawn to the uh the horror stuff. I've been really toying with the idea of getting into the NECA Ultimate Horror figures, and I was looking at this Pennywise, they had the Michael Myers, and then I saw this Annabelle, and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. It even comes in the glass case. Um, I thought about picking it up, but this one, for some reason, is like $35 as opposed to $29.99, so it was an easy pass. Um, they have this, like, Migo style, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, part three, three day figure, bunch of Godzillas. Uh, I love this stuff. I was really debating getting this Jason Voorhees. Um, man, the camera angles I shot this time, really not the best, but uh, here's the Michael Myers. How awesome is that? They also had like a Halloween 3 pack. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I like the cartoon ones too, but they're 15 bucks. If, if I'm going to get into the horror figures, I'm going to get into the Ultimates. And uh, my boy Fig Vault recently got into them, and he's trying to get me into them now. So I was also checking out the Back to the Future pops, the new ones. They got a bunch of different Marty McFlys. Um, there's a couple others around here. There they are. Um, so they got Marty with glasses, Marty in the future, Marty 1955. Really cool stuff, but um, I'm not gonna pick anything up. What's up guys, back at Walmart. Um, gotta pick up a few things before I go to my haircut, so I figured I'd stop in, see if they got anything new, see if maybe they finally restocked AEW figures or Elites or Motu or something. So I'm hoping that we can find something least something on the shelf so it's not bare anymore so let's see so walking up i was not expecting to see all of these aew unrivaled figures they must have had five cases here um four or five cases and i was just shocked i'd, I'd never seen this many in person um, especially untouched so naturally I had to pull all the ones down from the top to see if maybe I could find a chase figure. There was no chases. I'm pretty sure that the current cases that are shipping to stores do not have chases in them. Uh, but I figured since I'm here, I might as well pick up a Chris Jericho because my Chris Jericho has like very weird paint apps. Um, so I was like comparing all the Chris Jericho's and I was also looking at the Nick Jackson's cause my Nick Jackson is like bent up on the front, but I noticed that all of the Nick's are jacked up in the same exact spot. So it must be how he is placed inside the case that causes him to be like damaged up there. See right where I'm showing you, it's like almost like a V shape. All right. So I picked up a Jericho because the card was really good and paint apps were much better than mine the uh paint apps on the one i got um his face was like completely pushed left um but i felt too bad to send the worker back um who got them for me from the back so scoop this guy um i wanted to get another 
Nick Jackson because up here is all messed up. But um, it must be the way he's placing the box. They're all messed up like that in the same exact spot as mine. So I guess I'm um, SOL on Nick. But glad I got this better paint apps Jericho. All right, so here's a random little stop at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm told that they have these mini WWE figures, the second series of them. So we're going to see if mine has them in stock. I have the first series. Let's see. And walking up, I spot them from a mile away. They had the mini figures. So here is the John Cena and the Braun Strowman. I was looking to see if they had the Undertaker one, but they didn't have it. They had like a rock, but it's the same as the series one, so I passed on it. And here's a bunch of footballs because I was way too excited about picking up these dollar store figures. I have no idea why. All right, rainy day today. Target. Thinking I'd stop by, see if they got anything new on the shelves. Again, I would really like to get that yellow trunks Greg, but uh, let's just see what they got on the shelves. Alright, so first things first, we gotta hit up the wrestling figures. Uh, they had two AJ Styles, SummerSlam Elites, two AJ Styles top picks, a couple Heenans, man, those Heenans are warming, and some basics like the Cena, the Kofi with the messed up tights, uh, Roman Reigns, and couple rocks now um, this AJ is so weird how the hair is put on he kind of looks like a bald man uh, this rock is so whack so whack they could have totally done better on the Rocky I'm tired of seeing these Heenans and it's my favorite figure in the set but I do love this Roman's uh, head sculpt had to scope the bottom, slambulance as always, see if there's any figures around on the shelves. Sometimes you'll get lucky, a kid will pick up a figure, his mom will say no, and then he'll just move it somewhere, and then you as a collector get lucky picking up a good find because some kid ha had to leave it behind and just put it in a random shelf. So always look around, boys. tried to avoid coming over to this section because I was worried I was going to buy something so I just moved right over to the Funko Pops but that didn't last long so here I am back at the NECA horror really debating these with Halloween coming up I really want to get into them because in my mind I can use them as a decoration at the house uh, they go with the whole feel and I just think that the, the boxes are awesome it's the original uh, poster and you can display the figure in front of it they had everybody, the Hellraiser, Jason, Pennywise, Freddy, Alien. They even had Jason from Freddy vs. Jason, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, that movie gets no love. But I thought this Friday the 13th Jason was the best with the multiple different masks. Even though I do want one with, like, a removable mask and he's got, like, the, the head. Alright, Fig Vault, I'm officially in the game. I got the Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, Freddy Krueger, he's got the dogs. I could not pass this up. He's got the hat, two interchangeable heads. This thing is just fire. Real happy with this purchase. I wish they had the school bus. And that's what the two dogs look like. I will definitely be doing an unboxing of this. I'm in the game. What's up guys? Still working on the heel cave. But um, from today's fig hunt, we're going to check out the things I got. So I picked up this Chris Jericho in much better shape. I did an unboxing earlier of the one that I already had. Um, this one has much better paint up. So very, very happy to add this to my collection and I can put it over here on the pegs um, because I do want to keep a set of AEW figs on card. Uh, got this in yesterday too. 
Um, also picked up these mini micros from Mattel. Got the John Cena. Got Braun Strowman at the Dollar Tree. Dollar each. Not bad for a little guy, right? And I officially got into the game of the NECA Ultimates. Um, I've been fighting this for a while if you've been watching my fig hunts. So I finally decided to get in on this Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge. Freddy. I mean, he comes with the Demon Dogs. I can't wait to unbox this. Uh, comment below if you guys would like to see me do an unboxing on the channel. I know it's not wrestling related, but um, this figure is awesome. Who doesn't love Freddy Krueger? The detail. Like, just look at the shirt. Look at the rip in the shirt right there. The detail on this thing is incredible. I can't wait to analyze this. And if you'd like me to do it on the channel, let me know. Um, God, this thing's awesome. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price on Amazon.com. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at FigHeel, and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.